An exception is what C sharp calls a performance error. The exception causes the program to end abruptly on the very same line in which the fault occurs without running the next line of code. Applications must be capable of handling errors that may occur during execution in a uniform fashion. Now, this is where .NET comes. .NET provides a framework for notifying programmers of failure in a consistent manner. Net operations signal failure by generating exceptions. So if you are curious to know more about the same, stay right where you are because in this video, we will be discussing basics and everything related to exception handling in C Sharp and .NET. So without any further ado, let's get started right away. If you haven't subscribed for our channel yet, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure you comment on this video any queries or suggestions. I'll be more than happy to respond to all of them. Hello everybody, welcome to this video where we'll be learning regarding exception handling. Exception handling plays a very important role in every coding language because it is a self-repair system which we can put up into the codes where it can self-evaluate and throw up a default statement which is listed for consequent errors that is caused while executing the program or running the application. So let's quickly check on the agenda of this particular session, what all we'll be learning. Here, we'll start with learning exception handling introduction. So what is exception handling, where it is used, and how do we put up exception handling inside the code? So in order to put up the exception handling, we have to have certain format, right? So the syntax has been taught accordingly with the exception handling introduction after that we'll be learning regarding types of exception classes in c sharp so there are different types of exceptions that is normally cost okay you can also have user defined exception as well but default in the system there are few types of exception classes which you can use with, without creating by yourself so those classes will be listed and uh, the implementation of one of the class right, will be shown on a hands-on demo using Visual Studio platform. right? So the demo will be talking about array index out of bound. That means there is a specified number uh, size for an array if the elements inside the array is exceeding the number defined by the array, the size of the array, it will throw up an error. So when it throws up an error, how to show up an error to the user and tell them that there is a mistake, there is an array overload, you have to correct the same. So uh, we'll be demonstrating this particular example in this video. After that, we'll be talking about the summary. So overall, what all we learned in this particular video, right? So why wait? Let's quickly start learning what is exception handling. I'll explain you in general what is exception handling. For people who are starting with the programming language, please don't get confused. So it is very simple. It is just self-repairing procedure inside the code. Okay, I'll explain what it is. Say for example, you have coded for some requirement. But instead of giving the input you have asked, user will give some other input. Say they will uh, give the name instead of phone number. But the code, it is supposed to take only numbers, not the alphabets. So how do you convey to the user that you are giving a wrong input in the wrong place, right? It has to handle the error by itself and put some error message outside to the user stating, please enter numbers only, do not enter alphabets, something like that. So any situation arises where it is causing a problem to the code and smooth running of the code, we will always handle those errors. So this complete procedure, the code handling itself, what is the error caused is known as exception handling. So a problem that occurs during the execution of program is referred to as an exception. To handle that particular exception, we use exception handling. Simple. So I've given example of attempting to divide by zero. Any number, if the user is trying to divide by zero, it has to put up an error stating you are attempting 
to divide the number with zero, which is not possible. Or try using different numbers. Something like that, the error message can be put up to the user. So if we quickly want to see the syntax, it has three different elements to concentrate on. The first one is try, the second one is catch, and finally, all three elements should be there while you handle any exception inside your code, right? So try particularly, it will always try to fetch what is an exception case. What is the user trying to do? Catch block will catch, okay, what is the error? What is the exception? And finally, we'll decide how to handle and what are the statements it has to display after execution of that particular exception. So that's about exception handling. And you have different types of exception classes in C Sharp. So what are the different types? Commonly occurred exceptions are listed in C Sharp library. By default, it has its own meaning and how to handle. So you can simply use this particular predefined entities inside your code. So naming a few, I've put up input output exceptions, index out of range exception. Usually it will happen in arrays. So what happens in arrays like you always declare five different spaces in an array. You try to put up six element to it. It will always show you index out of range. There is the space reserved only for five. Why are you giving me six element inside it? So then you have array type mismatch. Say array as I tell you generally I'll tell you if an array means it has to have a single kind of data type inside that. They are doing int everything should be int they are doing char everything should be char they are doing something with float everything should be float you cannot have mixed type of uh, data types inside that so array type mismatch is an error it will cause so null reference you are pointing to something which is zero or which is not having any value okay divide by zero as i told you you are trying to divide some number by zero which is impossible so what do you do you try to handle that particular exception. Apart from that, we have invalid cast, right? Type conversions, when you try to do, you cannot convert from one particular data type to another, then it will always give you invalid cast. And then you have out of memory. If you are trying to put up some extra elements where the memory is built up already, it will show you out of memory, okay? Or if it is not existing also, it will show you out of memory. So if trying to search something which is not there in memory, which is out of memory. The stack overflow, stack is also somewhat like and can relate with array. It is having certain size. If you are trying to put up the elements more than the size declared, it will be overflowed. So stack overflow is concerned. So that's about the exception class in C sharp. So let's quickly have an example on Visual Studio IDE for index out of range. So I can't show you every Example, I'm just trying to put up one single example where you can know how the exception will be handled. Let's quickly switch. So here you can find a program where the array is being declared and the maximum size of an array is 4, right? So it is starting from 0 and uh, the maximum length is 4 and you are trying to print 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But what they say? Print seventh memory space where it is not at all present so let's see how this exception will be handled index out of range only four is there again you are asking me to print seventh space of an array which is not at all existing let's see what is the exception and how it will handle first i'm trying to debug make a good practice to debug before execution right it's a good programming practice do not directly run the program compile and then run so let's quickly see what is the output. So as you can see, the output is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are four different. It starts from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? There is no seventh space, memory space and array which is preserved. So what does it put up? It put up as an exception has occurred. Index was outside the bound of the, bound of the array. So the bound is only 4. They're asking for something with 7, so which is out of bounds, right? So that is about exception. Handling. Now, let's see what is the summary of this video. We started learning what does exception handling, the introduction towards the concept plus the procedure how to follow that. That means the syntax, right? So, what is the different scenario we use exception handling? Why should we use exception handling in the coding? What is the use of using this? So, all these things were taught in the 
first topic that is introduction to exception handling and its syntax followed by we started learning types of exception handling in the system library right there are different types of uh, default system library uh, which is having the exception handling already pre installed into it so few of them would be io exception input output exception array type mismatch if there is any mismatch in the type of the array and then divide by zero anything we are trying to divide by zero which is impossible so exception how to handle that particular case has been discussed then out of memory exception that means we are having the memory which is uh, already out of the bound so an out of the particular constraint right out of memory is uh, been handled then stack overflow exception is also been handled right so there are different other types of user defined exception also which we users or the coders can create and implement with that we have the help of the library exception handling types as well right the classes for this particular is also been defined so after learning all those we started implementing one of the library exception class that is stack index out of bound that means the stack is designed likewise it is having certain size after that we are trying to put up the elements which is over that size which is crossing that size it will throw up an error which is letting the user know that uh, you are crossing the bound you are crossing the limits the index is out of the bound so we learned about all this in this particular video and i hope this is very much helpful for you guys to understand the simple basic concept called exception handling which is used in various programming language but here we have learned with respect to c sharp and .NET. neha here signing off thank you if you haven't subscribed for our channel yet, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure you comment on this video any queries or suggestions. I'll be more than happy to respond to all of them.